today's video is basically going to be a little drugstore haul based on all the new makeup that has been released at Ulta, Target, Walgreens, you name it. Um, anywhere that you can basically get drugstore makeup for the year of 2017. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel that all these drugstore brands kind of got together and were just all like, let's just throw all this brand new makeup at people and make them feel overwhelmed and spend all their money. A job well done, guys. You succeeded. The beginning of January, I feel like all this brand new makeup just came out and it's all so amazing and I wanted to try it all. Um, so I kind of went around um, anywhere from L'Oreal to Maybelline, Rimmel, NYX and I kind of just picked out a bunch of products that I really wanted to try out just a little bit of everything and as always of course if you are new to my channel please subscribe give this video a big thumbs up at the end if you did enjoy it and if you also want to see more future reviews on brand new products that are coming out and let's get started the first thing I picked up was the L'Oreal infallible color correcting kit in the color 225 there is also another one that they just um, released and it's more of a concealer one but I thought I would get a lot of use out of this one because this one does already have a kind of concealer color that I like a little bit more of. Also, the concealer one comes in a lot more darker color. So if you are a little bit pale or just a lot lighter skinned, you might not get too much use out of it. It might just be a little bit overwhelming um, for your skin tone color. So I decided to go for this one. Plus, I don't really have a color correcting kit, so I thought it would be a good time to kind of test it out. The colors that come inside are the nude, the yellow, the green, and the purple. And of course they do all different kinds of things for your face. I followed the instructions in the back when using them and I applied the nude one underneath my eyes. Apparently it helps cover dark circles. The yellow tone color you're apparently supposed to use on your eyelid, so I did that as well. And the green one helps reduce natural redness like around your nose. I use that for that. And then the purple one apparently helps brighten dullness, but I didn't feel like I really needed that, so I kind of stood away from the purple today. I love the packaging first off. It looks very sleek and clean. I love the black finish. And then I love the little sponge that comes with it. It is a really small sponge, but if you want, you can use two colors on each side, or you can use all four corners for all four colors, depending on your preference. I really did love this product so much. Definitely worth the $16.99 that it costs. And I definitely give this one a big thumbs up. Next thing I picked up were the new Equal Tool sponges. Now they just released a bunch of new sponges. I have the little small teardrop ones, the ones that are like purple. I decided to go with the Equal Tools ones just because they looked really, really cute. And I love that it came with a little small one and a little, little big one. Um, what I love so much about these is the shape because it would be so much easier for you to apply your makeup like this. I think that that is brilliant, that it's like flat like that. So I have the small one, which you could use for concealer if you wanted to. And then I have the big one, which I use today for foundation. I did really like these sponges. They're very like flexible. They're not very dense. The little one is more dense than the big one. The big one is definitely much more squishy. Um, and I haven't used the little one yet, so, but I used the big one today. Really nice product. It works well, just like every other beauty sponge in my opinion. And it did a really good job covering. I didn't feel like it left me streaky or it took too much makeup off of my, the back of my hand. I feel like um, it let the product stay on my face. And then in case you guys are wondering, the Eagle Tool sponges were $9.99. And what I use to apply with the sponge is the brand new L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover 24 Hour Foundation. I always, always use the color Buff Beige in L'Oreal foundations. I've never, ever changed it. It's always been the color that I used. So of course, naturally, I picked up the 304 Buff Beige. I actually really like this formula. The other ones are much more of a foundation and a BB cream kind of liquidy consistency, in my opinion. Um, but this one feels much more of a moussey consistency. It was just a lot more thicker, it was a lot more moussey. Um, so where the other ones felt like you were kind of squirting out ketchup, this one feels like more of a spread, like a butter spread. That's what it feels like. Yeah, that's a good example. I did really like this product. Um, I only used one coat on my face and I felt like it just completely covered everything. Um, so I was very, very impressed with this product. And if you ever have a chance to use this, I definitely would. I feel like this is something that everyone can honestly use. And it does mention on the product that you can use it on your face, neck, arms, and legs to cover imperfections. So I did use it on my face as well as my neck today. In case anyone is wondering, this product retails for $12.99 
and I give it a big thumbs up. Next product I picked up was the NYX Eyebrow Powder Pencil, and this one is their darkest shade, I believe, and it's just called Brunette, I believe. Yes, it's called Brunette. <laughs> And I have tried a NYX eyebrow product before and I did like it so I kind of wanted to test this one out because this one is also just recently released. Um, it comes with a bristle on one side, the pen on the other, and I think that this is an awesome product. I actually was very, very impressed. This was one of the ones that I thought I wasn't going to like a lot, um, but I actually really did like it. The actual crayon is not hard to blend out which is why I loved it so much. It literally just glides on like butter. And then I use the bristle basically to kind of distribute the color throughout my brow. And this did amaz an amazing job. Um, also, the color was true to itself and I felt like it's really, really good. Like if you're a very, if you have very dark eyebrow hair, then the brunette shade would be good for you, the darkest shade. And I believe it comes in three different shades. The eyebrow pencil retails for about $6.50. And this one I also give a big thumbs up. Still on the topic of brows, I also picked up the new Maybelline Brow Precise Illuminating Perfection Pencil. This was really, really interesting because I haven't seen really a product like that with that kind of shape or that stick before. Um, so I wanted to try this out. The Maybelline Brow Illuminator comes in three different shades and it retails for $7.99. Um, and it's super easy to use. I basically just glide it underneath and on top dab it out with my fingers just to blend it out and the product stays on it looks really nice and clean and bright and I really do love this product as well so that is why I'm giving this one also a big thumbs up this was one product I was super excited to test out and it is the L'Oreal Voluminous Liner Noir liquid eyeliner so I do have it on my eyes right now and um, I love this product it's so pigmented the only downfall is that the goddamn stick is so big. If you're like doing it in front of a camera or like a mirror, you're gonna hit the mirror like a hundred times because it's so long. Why is it so long? Like I get it's like for, you know, looks, but you're just gonna, you're gonna go, oh, and you're just gonna hit everything like this. Oh, oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> but other than that, the product is really, really good. So because of that, I'll give it a big thumbs up. But honestly, I like want to break the bottom half because it's so annoying. The eyeliner retails for $9.99. Here's something else I haven't tried differently in quite some time. It's a mascara. I'm usually sticking to the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And I kind of wanted to test out another one. So this is new from Maybelline. It is the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. What caught my eye was the packaging because it's gold and massive and beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's a really, really nice mascara. I don't feel like it does really what it says though. Like apparently with one coat or something like that, you can have huge, you know, voluminous eyelashes, but I didn't really feel like that. Um, I felt like after two coats, it was like, okay. So I feel like it kind of didn't really do what I felt it should have done, but it's still a really, really good mascara. It gave my lashes, you know, some volume. Um, it's really nice. It's a really nice black color and the wand is so nice that it kind of just separates your lashes um, instead of, you know, doing that thing where it kind of clumps together. So because of that, I will give it a thumbs up, but I'm also going to give it a kind of thumbs down just because I didn't really feel like it did what it was supposed to do. And in case you're wondering, this mascara retails for $8.49. Now here is something I am seriously, seriously loving and so, so excited about. And it is the Maybelline The Master Blush Color and Highlight Kit. This is so beautiful. It retails for $12.99, which I think is absolutely insane because you get these massive like blush sets. First off, I love every single color in this palette. I would use every single one. You have your highlight, then you have this peachy one, this hot pink, and then this almost like mauve kind of purpley color. But the colors are so beautiful and they remind me so much of Valentine's Day, which is why I picked it up as well. Because it's like, it's just the cutest little thing ever. And the colors are so pigmented. When I was applying it on my finger, I was like, holy crap. When I applied it with the brush, um, I made sure to be just very gentle and Kind of delicate with it because I didn't want too much product to transfer on my face and then look at the clown. I do genuinely love this product. I definitely recommend trying this one out, especially if you're looking for like a really good drugstore blush. Um, this one has three and a high 
So I was so excited when I saw these colors. It is the NYX Faux White Colored Pencils. These are so pretty. They're apparently like eyeliner pencils, um, but I've seen on the NYX Instagram page that people are using them for a bunch of other things. Um, so I really, really wanted to test these guys out myself. I grabbed three of them. The first one is Seashell. It's this little pink one. Second one is Baby Powder, which is this blue one. That's actually a really good name for that baby powder. And then the mint one is called Mint Cream. And these colors are just so pretty. And the crayon is so pigmented as well. Like it was just like it glided on like nothing. And these retail for $7.99 each. So I went to Walgreens and I was walking by the makeup and I spotted these beautiful lipsticks and it was the packaging that really just caught my eye because I had never seen them before. They are the Rimmel Matte Lipsticks and I decided to pick up three shades um, and they are basically just three shades that I felt like I would wear more. The first one is called Take the Stage. The one in the black packaging is called Ain't No Other. And then the last one is called Trendsetter. It was the packaging that really just caught my attention and then when I swatched them on my hand, I was like, holy crap. One, they're super, super creamy. Two, super, super pigmented. What more can you ask for in a lipstick? So yes, love these, love these so much. I give these guys a big thumbs up. And these retail for $7.99 each. Moving now into the last two products, they are lip products as well. And the first one is the Maybelline Baby Lips Color Bomb Crayon. First off, this packaging, adorable. I love Baby Lips products. Ever since they released them, I've always had them with me because they are amazing and moisturizing and they are lifesavers for your lips. And when they started coming out with the colored and tinted ones, I got really, really excited because I was like, dang. <laughs> so I grabbed the color Toasted Taupe and it's just this really pretty nudie color. I do like the packaging and I love how it's actually like round shaped like that. It is very, very moisturizing. Swatching it on the skin, you can automatically tell that it's a super creamy um, formula and it is still very pigmented. And I feel like that's what matters the most is that it's moisturizing and it's pigmented. So it does the job very well. I love this product so much. This guy retails for $6.99 and I give it a big thumbs up as well. Last but not least, I picked up two of the L'Oreal Infallible Paints um, because they were basically all out of every shade. So I grabbed the two that they basically had left. Besides like the purple and the blue and the teal one, I was like, I'm not gonna wear these, so let's go with colors that I'm actually gonna wear. So I picked up Nude Star as well as DIY Red. First off, the names are so cute. I love these so much. These are amazing. The formula is so creamy and it just like stays on your lips. It's easy to apply. I was kind of hesitant to try these because first it looks like a lip gloss and I don't really like lip gloss, um, but it doesn't feel like that. I actually have Nude Star on my lips right now. I've had it on all day. It stays on the lips. It looks beautiful. The colors are so pigmented. I love these things. I actually want all the colors now. Even if I don't wear them, I just want them. And just to let you know, the lip paints retail for $9.99. So that is gonna be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it so much. I sure did. I have a bunch of new makeup now to play with. Thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!